Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. In this video, I will be demonstrating how you can create a matrix based report in fastreport.net, either based on the classic matrix object or based on the new and approved advanced matrix object. So let's get into it. Let's open the report designer and take a look at what data we have. I've generated some random data that resembles a real life example you can encounter. So here's 5000 rows about some fictional company that imports different fruit types. And we have the following fields. Fruit type, country name, year, quarter, month, and amount. The date is stored in three fields for the ease of understanding what's going on. And if your database uses a single date time field, it's easy to get the quarter and month values with the inbuilt functions. So for the start, let's make a report using the metrics object that's been available in fastreport.net since the very first version. We wanted to display the fruit import amounts from every country in each year that's present in the database. I will say from the start that this report is much more convenient to make with the advanced metrics. And if you want to skip to its demonstration, skip to this timecode. So, I will add the metrics object to the band and drag the following fields onto it. Country name, year and amount. This is the minimal amount of fields we can use for a meaningful report. And don't forget to add borders to every cell. Now, let's add the fruit type besides the country name. And now every country has the total amount divided by the fruit type. The matrix is now way bigger than a single page, so let's change the page parameters. I will enable both unlimited height and unlimited width. Now let's delete the unnecessary totals and change the labels. And here's how the report looks like now. We can also change the null value property of the amount cell, so we don't have gaps in the table when there's no data. So, now we get to the part that's not as obvious to do with the old matrix. We need to display the same data, but with more details. So, not just data about yearly numbers, but also quarterly and monthly ones. It's possible to do with this object, but depending on your data, there can arise certain problems, and designing the report this way can take a lot of time. So, you need to copy the matrix. In the second matrix, add the quarter field under the year field and re-enable the data source property, because at the moment it gets erased after copying. We will need some extra design space, so let's enable it. Then copy this matrix, add the month field, and repeat the same actions. So, now we have three separate matrices that display all the data we need. But there's a lot of repeated data and inconsistencies. The matrix borders don't match each other. The matrix headers should be of the same height, so let's make them the same. Let's disable auto size for every matrix and do the following actions. Merge these header cells and start resizing the matrix elements. Each of these rows is now 0.5 cm, so change the size of the other headers to make them match. The gaps between matrices can be avoided by placing them next to each other, which can require some precise manual size changes. But for now, let's look at how we can remove the second time the country name and fruit type are displayed. We cannot simply delete them, because that would break the matrix, so we need to hide them. Select the unnecessary column and set its width to 0. You can select them like this, or you can find them in the report tree. You'll also be able to find them there if they're hidden. Now we can repeat this, and by manually setting each element's size, we can easily fit the matrices together. Let's preview the report now, and you can see that all the data we need is right here and exactly as we expect it to be. Three yearly columns at first, then the detailed data, divided by quarters and then by months. Additionally, you can customize the text in the headers and cells. For example, by adding year space in quotes plus to the year field. This way, you can build the text in a few ways. For example, by mentioning the year field in the quarter cell, you can display it as quarter x of year y. Now, let's leave the setup of three matrices and start anew with the advanced matrix object. I will leave them as an example, but I'll make the data band invisible. After adding the advanced matrix object, let's drag and drop the necessary fields – country name, fruit type and amount. You can see right away that the amount field is explicitly a sum, and you can easily choose another function if it's necessary. The report looks like this, 
and we can add other columns now, starting with the year. And now, instead of copying the whole matrix, we can simply add another year column, and then the quarter column under it. And we can repeat the same thing with the month column. So, we get essentially the same report, made with much less effort. Now, let's look at the customization we can do. Just like in the previous matrix, we can merge these cells and add labels to them. To change the display of the quarter field, you'll need to edit this header cell and change the display text field. For easy access to the database fields, you can open the traditional editor window. And you can also use the inbuilt month name function, so the months aren't displayed as numbers but as words. I'd also like to show you a little comparison table that I've prepared while writing the article this video is based on. Preparing the same report, built with three regular matrix objects, is 27% slower than using a single advanced matrix. The comparison was done on a report that was exactly the same as the report you've seen me build today. The advanced matrix object is available in fastreport.net version 2022.1 and higher. It has some options that I haven't shown you today and you can read about them in our documentation. So this was it for today's video. Check out other videos on this channel for more info about our products. Thank you for watching and happy reporting!